Hi there. Now, from this one, you can see the solution then for y is that it's 12x to the power half plus 2x to the power 5 over 2 over 5 plus 1 fifth. So if you didn't get this, I'll just take you slowly through it. So we were given then that dy dx equals 6x to the minus half plus x root x, where x was greater than 0. And the values that y equals 37 and x equals 4. This is going to help us find the constant of integration, which I've called plus c. OK, so in order to get y, what we need to do is integrate this. So I've got here the integral. Don't forget to put this in brackets because you've got more than one term. I then had to change this to a power. Remember, the root of x is x to the power half. So times it with the x there, you add the powers and you get x to the power 1 and a half or 3 over 2. So in the usual way, when you integrate terms like this, just add 1 to the power and divide by the new power. So adding 1 to minus a half gives you x to the power half, divide by the new power a half. Same with this term here, add 1 to 3 over 2 and you get 5 over 2 and divide by the new power. Don't forget, though, the constant of integration, which I've called plus c. So in order to get this, I have times top and bottom here by 2. That gives me 12x to the power half over 1, just 12x to the power half. And here, if you multiply top and bottom by 2, you get 2x to the power 5 over 2, all over 5. OK? And then... Because I'm going to be working towards finding c, I decided to convert these back to root form. So this was 12 times the square root of x. And then for the x to the power 5 over 2, it's best to think of this as the root of x, with that 2 there, the root of x then, all to the power 5. It makes working this out a lot simpler. And then... We substitute our values for x and y into here, and this will help us get the constant of integration c. So I've worked my way through here. I took away the 24 from the 37 to give me the 13, and then 13 in terms of fifths is going to be 65 over 5. So that made it easier to work out what c was. It was a fifth, and then just substitute that back into here and you've got the value of y, okay, in terms of x.